guys, welcome back to our Ultimate Dubs 2022 coverage. Hope you enjoyed the first video. We're back again to take you around the rest of the show. I'm gonna find some hidden gems inside, outside. We're gonna find those cool dubs for you for 2022. So follow me, let's take another look around. Okay, so in the last video, I took you through the airlift performance stand, all the cars we had on show. We're gonna kick things off in part two with the Rotiform stand. These guys have got a huge display here at Ultimate Dubs. First thing that's got loads and loads of interaction is JP Performance's Beetle GT. Now this is a this is really unique car. Um, Gran Turismo, you all remember the Gran Turismo games? Well, they created like a one-off Beetle GT, so Beetle Gran Turismo, which was only on the game. Basically, a company called Prior Design have teamed up with JP Performance over in Germany, and they have actually created the car from the game. So this is like a, a full custom body kit that's been created. It's like from render to reality. Been going mad online. It's got custom rotiform wheels. You know, it's fully stripped out. It's fully ready for the track, fully track prepped, and it's even running a TFSI engine out of an Audi RS3, which is pretty mad. What do you guys think of this thing? I think it's so cool to see something I was playing on Gran Turismo, to see it here in real life, it's just insane. So, as I said, Rotoform have gone in hard this year at UD. This isn't the only car they've imported for the show. Let's take a look around here. So, some of you guys may have heard of Jamie Orr, really big on Instagram and YouTube. He's like a crazy Volkswagen fanatic. He's got loads of Volkswagens. And he also does loads of road trips. He does road trips all over the States. And he's actually just imported this car recently from the States to the UK. And he's been doing a huge road trip throughout Europe. And now he's here at Telford, which is pretty nuts. We saw this roll in and we were like, is that Jamie Orr? What the hell is he doing in Telford? But yeah, here it is. It's a VW Atlas. I don't think it's actually available in the UK. So it's like a US spec SUV. As you can see, it's been done in the Harlequin paint code, which is pretty nuts. He's actually got a Mark III Golf Harlequin that we saw him tow in on a trailer. So he's actually been doing his road trip with the VW Atlas and the Mark III Golf Harlequin being towed behind it, which is pretty, it's a pretty cool sight. We, everyone saw it rolling in though. Wow, it's crazy. But as you can see, custom Harlequin paint code, different panels, different colors, just like the original Mark III. The wheels are the craziest thing in this car. Got some crazy custom rotiforms going on. They're all different colors all the way around. I've never seen anything like this. It's proper nuts, proper nuts. He's even got the Harlequin colors on the seats. Pretty cool. I think that's pretty fitting for all McDubbs Volkswagen show. Don't you think? What do you think of this car? Drop us a comment. Do you think the Harlequin works on an SUV like this like it does on the original Mark III? Let us know. <music> Gotta say, if you're a Volkswagen Polo guy or girl, these are two of the nicest examples in the UK right now. Obviously, we've shown you Amars quite a few times now. Gorgeous. Now look, this one's even had an engine conversion. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me very well, but yeah, stunning example of a Beetle on Gotti three-piece wheels, on airlift performance, so I've just seen the airlift controller in there. Yeah, slapped on the floor. Yeah, it's got a really nice, like, hard, you can't really see it on the camera, but it's got a really nice uh, airlift manifold built there, with some hard lines, it's got a really nice, gnarly steering wheel, really nicely trimmed, it's got a really nice headlining in there seats are really cool it's like a lever with a tweed around the outside proper clean example of a beetle 
I'm digging it. But yeah, look how low it is. It's so low. They he's had to put a little cloth down here because it's so low. Check out, yeah, another haul at Ultimate Dogs. There's so many cars here. It's difficult to get them all into a 20 minute video, guys. So I'd love to show so many more cars, but for me, these are like probably my personal highlights I'm showing you. First car straight off the bat, this Audi on air on some stunning polished OZ Futuras. They look banging. Real nice fitment on it too. Red, contrasting red interior. Really, really compliments the car. Yeah, so another cool Volkswagen I just spotted. Really nice uh, Mark 7 GTI on some three-piece Rotofon wheels that are sort, sort of color-coded to the car. Really, really, really tidy example. Guys, I have to say, a car that's getting loads of attention here today is James's Mark 7. As you can see, it's a wide body car. It looks like a pandem kit to me, but it's got crazy paint, it's got carbon pretty much everywhere, carbon bonnet, running BBS RS2s. They're like an 18 to 19 inch step by the looks of it. Super blingy, chrome look. But I have to say, I'm not normally a fan of wide body cars, especially on newer cars like this. However, there's something about this Maybe it's the combination of the paint and the wheels. Um, I think it looks hard. I really like it. Check out the clear tail lights as well. Massive exhaust, obviously the huge wang. What do you guys think of the huge wing? I'm not sure, but generally loving the car. Really nice. It's running airlift performance, of course, to get it sitting nice and low. Yeah, crazy, crazy wheel spec. I'm loving it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check out this uh, Mark III cabby. Don't see many of these, especially not in blue. But yeah, it's got some really nice car line wheels on it. Archulet fitment, so it's obviously on air ride. Yeah, nice Nardi steering wheel. It's got a nice show bonnet on here to show off the engine bay. Pretty clean. Sorry, yes. It looks like it's a Mark III cabby with a Mark IV front end on it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, pretty cool. Just stumbled across two Jap cars. Really badass S14. Do love an S14, especially with crazy fitment like this. I mean, look at that, man. It's obviously got a wide arch kit on it. Friggin' cool. On air suspension. And then there's a 200 SX here. Again, this one's on airlift. Real nice fitment. Pretty clean for a JDM car. I'm loving these two, man. What a pair. What do you think? Oh, check it out, Voodoo Ellie. So the guy we've left the Merc wheels with for the uh, C124 build, Ellie's been building up the wheels. I think I have a sneaky suspicion that our Merc wheels are here on display. I think he's just finished them up. As you can see, like he can source all the rare BBS caps, the centers, he's got another set of AMG Aero centers there, all these weird BBS hex caps that you just can't find anywhere, BBS stickers. All this stuff, man, you just can't find it. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, they're just demonstrating what they can do with wheels, how they do it, how they go about it. Really cool, but I've just spotted our Mercedes wheels. The Merc wheels are here, they're done. I cannot wait to get these on the car. So that's the rear, front and rear. The rear is actually a lot wider than I thought it would be, so I'm super happy with that. Oh, man. 
check that out. Look at the dish. As you can see, so these were the wheels that were originally a two-piece wheel. The guys at Voodoo have turned it into a three-piece wheel. So we now got an outer lip, an inner barrel, and the original face from the two-piece wheels. Amazing work. Once the car's bagged, we'll get these wheels fitted and see how they fit. Can't wait. Where's he gone? I've had to chuck my hoodie on because although it's sunny outside, it's March and it's still absolutely freezing because we are in the UK. <laughs> so just like Ultimate Stance, Ultimate Dubs, as well as being an indoor show, there's a load of cars situated outside. So let's take a look around, see if we can find anything interesting. So follow me. cool car. A guy called Harry, this is a Mark IV R32 on a lovely set of Rotoform SIX, so Rotoform 6s on airlift performance. Real nice colour to it. Looks good with the black wheels I think. Tucks so nicely at the rear. Well all round, nice thing about the SIX wheels is the spokes come out, get a real nice fitment there. I think we were talking about something like this the other day at work but Someone's actually done it, they bagged a Prius. Look at that. What do you guys think? Would you bag a Prius? I think it's quite cool. So yeah, this jet is pretty nice. Bagged on a set of BBS LMs. Nice colour combo. They're, looks like they're legit LMs as well, which is cool. It's got a red interior. Nice. I do actually quite enjoy a VW Lupo. This one's real nice, real subtle and clean. It's definitely on air suspension. Nice set of cleaned up BBS RMs. Nice little car. Crazy how different you can go with wheel fitment. Like that's a bit more of a subtle wheel fitment and then you've got this crazy, crazy poke going on with these raised wheels on this one. It's a pretty nice stealth looking Mark V Golf on a set of Rotoform DTMs. Sick. So guys, look who I bumped into, it's Jason, one of the co-founders of Rotoform. Give me a fist bump. What's up? Really cool to have Jason himself here from the States. Dude, how come you're here? What's going on? I just love Telford. You love Telford. Have you been here before? Have you been yes. to Rotoform? You have? Yes. It seems every time I come to the UK, I end up in Telford. Oh well, we can't get away from it. Yeah. Anyway, more importantly, let's talk about the car. The Scirocco. It's yeah. in the UK. This is the known as the million dollar Scirocco, right? Yeah, we're... Uh, I was thrilled to be able to ship it over, um, especially for this since we did come an all VW theme. Yeah. And we're going to keep it here for the summer. We're going to do Players Classic with it, and hopefully awesome. I can get it out there on the track. Awesome, awesome. It's such a cool car to see in person. Obviously, uh, it was an ornamental conifer that did all the artwork on the car. Yes. 
And how did that, how did that happen? Did you like commission him to do the call? Let him go wild with it, or let him do what he no, wanted? No, it actually started out as uh, me sending an email to him about doing a skateboard okay. for us, and uh, ballooned into a huge <laughs> a car. car project. So I think much, it's, it's stunning. I, I'm happy that it turned into a car instead of a skateboard. Well, I remember seeing pictures of the car when it was just all fully white. Yeah. And to see like how the artwork has transformed it completely is it's pretty crazy. We'll throw up a picture of it when it was just white without the artwork, and it's just crazy yeah. to see it. I love it both ways. Yeah. Uh, it's really a kind of a conversation starter now. Yeah. So. Well, can you tell us what, what engine is it running? It's been fully built. Yeah, this is a, uh, a two-liter, all aluminum, aluminum block, okay. um, with a USF3 head, Man. and uh, it makes like a little over 200 horsepower and weighs 1,800 pounds. Yeah. And what is it about Troco is my wants? Is it like the, the rawness of it? It's i uh, I've got a couple of Chiracos. I keep buying them and selling them. I just love them. I love the way they look. Yeah. It's a unique car. Is it a Bird Cup arches? Bird Cup arches. 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 Yeah, really, uh, custom rotor forms? Yes, custom BUCMs. BUCMs. It's and interior, uh, anything crazy going on? You got fuel, obviously I see a fuel cell and all that. Fuel cell, it's it's strictly a track car. So okay. um, I built it in my garage over the course of like eight years. It's a, well, uh, a labor of love. Dude, again, so, so cool to see you. Appreciate you taking the time to talk Thanks, to us. Harry. We'll see you soon. Good to see you guys. All right. Awesome. First car that's caught my eye is this stunning Audi 200. I don't think I've ever seen an Audi 200. On air rides, again, some amazing BBS magnesium splits. Proper retro car, this. All looks completely original, bar the, obviously, the air suspension of the wheels. Interior is like proper period, man. Auto, crazy seats, really. I don't know if you can tell from the video, it is very dark in this room. It's got a louvre. That's super cool. And it looks like this is actually a Polish vehicle. It might have been imported from Poland because he's got his Polish certificate there. He's also got his retro cassettes going on. Nintendo, ET. <laughs> guys g40 swapped red van this thing looks nuts it's like a prop this is what i call a proper build guys wow fully stripped out inside looks like it's got a flock dashboard super cool steering wheel all the buckets harnesses yeah he's got the fuel cell in there as well that's really really nice he's even got a louvre have you ever seen a louvre on a bread van before that's badass Yeah, it's running some really small image split rims as well. They look really nice. And a nice bit of tire stretch. But yeah, gotta say, one of the cleanest bread bands I've seen in a while. Just spotted quite a cool Mark IV Golf R32, bright yellow really stands out but to me it's got some really nice fitment on some set of bubble lip stepped up BBS RS's yeah I think these are the perfect wheels for a Mark IV proper stepped up lips yeah nice to say I am digging the colour combo on this TT. Love the wrap on this. I've seen quite a few cars in the States running a wrap this sort of colour. Match with the tan interior. How cool is that? It's got quite a nice boot build in the back. It's obviously on airlift performance. 
and a sick, sick set of Royoform three-piece wheels. I think they suit the car perfectly, to be honest. I think I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I think with a lot of newer cars, people people seem to like go a little bit too far with modifications. I think this is done just right. He's still got a spoiler on there, but it's not too over the top. Great color, great color combo inside. Perfect wheels. Can't go wrong, really. It's like the perfect TT. in between all the rooms they've got a selection of mark one golfs one of them's really stood out to me look at that man all the metal works all been polished up it's on some stunning ronal racing splits like period perfect for the car cae shifter you can see the elif performance controller down there Real, real nice. Some Recaros with fishnets. I also spy a Blaupunk Bremen SQR64 DAB. We sell those at carodiscurity.com, so check them out. Perfect, perfect for old cars like this. Also notice some little bits and little touches, like you see the strip down here, it's all carbon. Carbon there. And even around here, it's all carbon bumpers as well all around, around the car. So it's not like, it's not too in your face. It's pretty subtle. But I have to say, it's definitely one of the cleanest like Mark I Golf show builds I've seen in a very long time. Really nice color too. He's got some pinstriping as well, look. So that pretty much finalizes my Ulmer Dubs 2022 walk around vlog. I hope you've enjoyed the huge variation of cars. I certainly have. Let me know, what was your favorite car from the video? Drop a comment, I'd really love to hear it. I couldn't actually pick a favorite this time. There's such a variation, so many cool cars. I wanna hear what you think. Anyway, we are gonna try our very best to get to as many shows this year in the UK and Europe. So for example, Players Classic, Roll Hard, fitted all in the UK we're gonna try and get to alt race in Poland but we missed any if you can think of a show that you want us to go to and document drop a comment let us know we might not have heard of it if it, even if it's in the UK or Europe drop a comment we want to hear from you and we'll try our very best to get there in the meantime guys hit that like button share the video and subscribe the more subscribers we get the bigger the chances are we will be able to get to more and more shows to show you all the cool builds everything that's going on in the car scene that's what we want to do that's what we love and we want to show you what we get to see every weekend until then guys i'm going to have one more look around because i'm sure there are some cars that i have missed but in the meantime see you soon